All right, let's take a look at the do-it-yourself 24 volt solar generator. I'm doing a load test right now with a LED shop light, about a 50 watt load with that light and then the cooling fans going on. And I'll show you that real close here in a second. But let's get in here real close and I'll show you some of the cool things I did to make a safe system. Let's walk down here to the grounding rod I have here in the garage. I sacrificed a jumper cable alligator clip here. This worked out really good. Got a bolt in there with a crimp on the cable itself. Two layers of adhesive heat shrink and some black tape and put the original handle covers back on them. Works really good. This is really flexible stuff too. Number four Temco welding cable. And that goes into the dun, 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 wing nut here with a bolt and a crimp. Goes on the other side here. Another crimp through the bolt. And that goes into the inverters rounding lug. That's number four Temco welding cable there also. I took a fluke ohm meter to, chest, to test the resistance from there to the other end where the battery jumper cable end is. It was zero ohms resistance. So electrically through the whole system here is no resistance at all. Alright, here is the Blue Sea Systems DC voltmeter, part number 1733. Love this meter. Got it wired in through the switch here. So, this is the inverter switch. You turn this off, this goes off. But if you're not inverting, that's fine. You can also switch off the inverter there. Leave this on, meter will be on, solar charge controller switch on, so you can charge and watch the bolts here without inverting. So that worked out really well. Very surprised. Fix up some of the wiring in here. And I'll just turn that on just for show you that it works. Flush mounted this painted the power tray shelf also. Let me just turn it off here. Got the kilowatt meter hooked up to the outlets over here. Painted the outlet cover too. It shows 41 watts, but with the fans blowing right there, it's about 50 watts. I'll set that down for now. As for the solar panels, put in, found these hinges at Lowe's, I really like them compared to the other two panels there, and had some old rubber feet that I converted into rubber bump stops, just drilled the hole through there and countersunk and all that so these work out really really well so now I've got 400 watts in solar suitcase one two three four hundred watt panels on the hinges here these are quarter 20s grade 5 with hardened washers so they're really really good and strong and I've already tested out these panels and they work really, really well. These are brand new panels. There you have it. This thing really works good. I'm just going to load test this all day with no solar input and see how it goes. I don't think it's really that much stress on this system with a 50 watt load at all. Alright, hey, thanks for watching. See ya.